Hi everyone, welcome. Today I am with this nice person, Miho. And I am glad to be with him in this uh, wonderful spot in Liverpool. In the middle of Liverpool, we got a nice park called Sefton Park, and we found this nice, wonderful spot here. And today I'm just going to discuss a little bit of spirituality with Miho. Let's see. You guys will enjoy. So maybe I'll tell what you know about me. So I met Miho in a vegan meetup, uh, which I organized in Liverpool two months ago. Um, yeah, two, two, three months. Um, he came all the way from you know far from the town, and he yeah so. It was a nice little evening we had. Um, there I got to know that he got plenty of spiritual experiences, like the dream experiences, uh, then the lucid dreams. He explained me how to do um, many things. So I got quite fascinated about that. And uh, so I thought it would be a nice opportunity to uh, have a have an interview with uh, Miho so that we will understand more on spirituality and uh, you know his wisdom and whatever the experiences he has so far in his life so yeah that is what I am up to and this is what all I know about you in a bit let's say short I don't want to go more into the personal stuff but if you wish to you know to introduce like from your point of view of who is Miho would be nice. That's the question. Yeah. So, ask the question. Yeah. Who is who is Miho? Ah, who is Miho? Hmm. Oh no, that's a terrible question. <laughs> so maybe ah uh, okay, I will take I will take talk, talk about my spiritual path. Maybe mm -hmm. that would be better. Mm. Ah, oh, so I grew up uh, as a Christian. Okay. Uh, my grandma was like really believing my parents was there eh, but like I needed to go to church and at least to the communion mm -hmm. yeah communion and I was like believing in God like when I was like on the uh, summer holidays I would go to my grandma and just like praying and things but like I was really bullying in the school and I was like praying to get to like destroy my bullies like just like make them suffer and like God never listened to me, so I start, stopped believing. <laughs> I tried different paths. I tried like satanies and things like that. But mm -hmm. just so I was like reading stuff and and yeah, then I was like stop, stop like going into that. And like on studies, I met one guy and he was like got really into like shamanism. And I was like reading about it, like trying to meditate and like yeah stuff what do you know about shamanis you know anything? to be honest i don't know much about this the last time i uh, brought this bible from the shamanis a uh, sort of uh, christian community isn't it what shamanis no, shamanis nothing to deal with bible no oh. so it's like prayer prayer, okay. prayer christianis Pro Christian. Pre before, before ah, pre Christianity. Yeah. Okay. No, if you can. So first was uh, shaman. So spiritualist is like believing in the that everything have spirit. They they like soul or like the intelligence. Mm -hmm. And like the tribes like before uh, Neolithic revolution, they was like believing because they live in the forest. They believe everything was like alive, alive system. There was like kind of communicating with the spirits, with like everything has spirits, so from uh, stones to like trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and like then shamans was like kind of a little bit further, and like there was like the gods, a little bit like uh, also like really believing like like the animals, like spirit animals, cat like animals, like kind of they bite you, like guide the tribes, like for for the hands and stuff 
uh, I like different gods and like different like levels of consciousness. And it was like shaman, like kinda would be like compared to priest. And I usually like took psych psychedelics and they like guide the the tribe. Uh, I like yeah getting into that. So like you need to like be like spend a lot of time in the forest and kinda try to like meditate to like type 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 psychedelics and try to like understand like the, mm -hmm. the stuff. So I was like really into it. And, and then... Yeah, hmm? sorry. Uh, and when you said meditation, you have to do more in the for the natural environment. What sort of meditation you do? Is there any specific techniques? Or? Uh, so what I was going like with the drums. So like try to like learn to drum. So uh, you go like like frequency that like you have on the dream so like the beta waves i guess mm -hmm. to try to one then and then like relax uh, and like during the meditation like just like yeah focus on nothing try to kind of i don't know try not like find your spiritual guide your animal guide and try to kind of it's going like it's a dream so you will see like how he guide you you talk with him okay. like in, in your wow maybe like mostly will be like in your uh, imagination hmm. so it's like i now now from my experience like more like talking with your ex, uh, un unconscious mind yeah so this is i would say so no so i couldn't get that lost point you you were only talking with an unconscious mind for me yeah you talk with your spiritual ah, guide okay like with, with in your like okay. trances I would okay. say, mm. but I would say now that you talk with your unconscious mind, so it kind of connection. Mm. Yeah, to be honest, I'm I know I'm not much aware of the spirit guides and uh, spirit spirit animals. Yeah. What what are they exactly? Um, is are they like helping? Yeah, they they like guiding you. Like so, basically, you find like one certain type of animal, and he will like talk, help you, like guide you through like your life and like okay. I was lo lots of like walking uh, like in forest or like see the spirit uh, like see the fox for example mm. it's like oh give me some some like, and try to like think what what he learned teach me or something like that okay which means there is not a specific animal as a spirit guide for you yes it is it is yeah Oh, okay. So you have, for example, like type of animal like fox or like. So dog for you, for for like, you, it's or, fox. Yeah. Mm. Or artist was yeah. Okay, and you speak with him, yeah. like in unconscious or imaginary. Yeah. Oh, nice. And how do you do that? Any technique so that I can also how how to find my spirit animal? Is that a way? Shamani. <laughs> That's what shaman is about. Yeah. Uh, how to find? I guess the easier path is to take drugs, oh, okay. like psychedelics. I found on psychedelics, but like if mm. you go in the forest and like meditate in the forest, mm. like over long walks, like then you will find sooner or later. You just like mm. I know, like something that points. Oh, this is it. You just mm. feel it. Okay, so everything is feeling based. Yeah, as we always say in spirituality. Nice. And what about uh, spirit guides? They are like the angels and... I mean, this is the... Mm. I mean, like the animals. Ah, this animals, the, yeah. guides, both are same. Yeah. I mean, like, for the shamans, yeah, they are like guide animals, yeah. This is what spirit guide, I mean, like, animal mm. guide, or like totemic animal. Yeah. And then, yeah, I was doing that on studies. Then I moved to UK and kind of didn't have a contact with forest and much time i kind of stopped to do with it mm -hmm. i got a little bit like into buddhist like start to read read like buddhist texts and like meditate uh, but kind of i went like for a couple like buddhists how you say clubs no places buddhist yeah Buddh mon monasteries yeah. how they called which one or like would would you say like Buddhist places. Buddhist centers. Buddhist centers, perfect, mm. yes. I don't know, but I never like resonated with them. 
mm -hmm. I find like kind of really like the uh, I don't know I never like like them okay you didn't have the connection with the teachings yeah. of Buddhism I mean like more the people I guess mm. okay uh, and then I'm like went for holidays for Poland and my friend the same that's like from the shamanis introduced me like talk about me like about uh, chaos magic okay. do you know anything about chaos magic yeah uh, so this is basically like like connections of any uh, spiritual practices that you want and you connect and you want to like achieve your personal like grow yourself this is like goal like grow yourself and like be better be more powerful uh, so like most known is like Arister Crowley did you heard about his name he was called like uh, B66 so he was like kind of like really into like m magic and like spirituality mm -hmm. uh, and he was like I really loved his biography so he was like growing up like you want to hear it I don't know if you should no no you can uh, so he was growing in like really extreme like Christian family mm -hmm. his father he was not priest but I would say like priest and he was like, yeah, forced him to like remember everything from Bible. And then he like moved uh, to London. And he was like really into like magic and kind of got into that secret society. Uh, how they called? Psycho. Or dusk. Oh. Uh, yeah, like society of dusk, something like that. Okay. Uh, and he was like, there was like ranks and he was like all growing all ranks really quickly. And then he was like decided, fuck it, I would like start my own. Mm. And he was like, that was like one like really extreme, uh, ritual that you need to like feast and like be awake for like a week and like do, uh, do rituals and like summon demons. And then he stopped like in the middle, he got tired and he stopped it and yeah. And he also was like alpinist, and he does like what amazing stories. So he was like with the group, uh, and then he was like they he was like the leading group, and then there was like they they didn't like it, and like they they kick him from the like ruling, okay. and he like he said like there there would be storm, and like we shouldn't go, and he like built the shelter, and like I'm not going go anywhere. And it was like they didn't care and they went and every one of them died, only like he survived. <laughs> and then was something like he went to Egypt and talked with the top and he made like one book that was like basically what he said, like automatic writing. So like the mm -hmm. and that was like yeah. But like with his books, like he's really like really hard to read. Like there are lots of kinda stuff. I know, but actually his story, like that wanted. So basically, what he don't like, he like connect different of like spiritual practices, like from the Buddhist, the like Christianity, like everything, mm. okay. whatever, like help you. And I don't know that like I really like that you have like this freedom, you can do mm. whatever you want. Yeah, and you have like you kind of the goal of it is like you write your journal, like practice journal, like. You can see how you progress, mm -hmm. like with different stuff. You know, like, have you tried like uh, doing meditation journal? Mm, no. So this is really cool. Like every time you meditate, after you meditate, like ah. write how how you progress, oh, how you, like yeah. okay. how was your meditation, what you learned from it, okay. how, what you could do better, oh. and then you can like just like if you like not motivated or like just want to like remind yourself a little bit okay yeah yeah to be honest yeah i think i i have to do that like the experiences what yeah. we come across mm, making it as a journey mm. yeah should be should be good if not we will forget and uh, yeah interesting. Mm. so it, it is a good way to uh, see how i was before and how yeah, how you like became now. Mm. Uh, yeah.
and I don't like one point. I had like an off and on, like, yeah, but I have point like that, like, I really got into it. I don't like lots of shit to ask, lots of books, mm -hmm. like, lots of reading about it. And yeah, and got my like in really dark places, like, yeah, kind of stopped it. But it's interesting. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this. And then I got like really into like, I think like also like in the meantime, I done it like, uh, so my ex that I moved here into the UK, uh, she like, yeah, we break up and I was like alone. I was like really got into uh, self-help books. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is like in the self-help books, some usually some uh, like spiritual things. Okay. Yeah. Saying that, I read a book called Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. So I think this it's is a book that I, it's not about spirituality, but it helps when you got breakup or whatever to, to come out of there, to understand <laughs> what relationship or to understand the other person, hmm. I think. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. And like, like I had like really the best time of my life then. Like when I was living in other city, I was like studying, working, had friends, like meeting them. Uh, and yeah, that was like really kind of get high on the like. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been like read like the self help books? Self help books. No. So basically, what I learned later, so it like really motivate you, but it's working like a co cocaine. So okay. It's like really like toxic positivity. That's so nice. it just like it just that's not nice. Well, <laughs> if it helps you to come out of yeah, like it helps you for a moment, then you like okay, you you get addicted then to you, it. Yeah, you get really addicted okay. to it. You just like consume more and more to get like better advice, better like motivated. Okay. But like as cocaine it gave you crash, so mm. one point you like any point you have like just bad day by week like. Mm. You get totally crushed because this everything about like success in the self help books of like you need to do it, you need to mm -hmm. like yeah. And if you like have 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 bad week, have like any health problems, you just like and you like it make you what I found like it make you uh really have like massive remorse if you don't progress mm. like the self help books. So if you imagine like you are like really into it, like really like do it, do it, do it, then. And you cannot, and you just like ah, massive, disappoint. Like, but yeah, and is there any examples, like any books you can suggest, like in order that so that I can understand which are really the self help book, like any top title? Oh, so many. Okay. You are badass. I remember it was really badass. close. Ah, uh, uh, giant. How was? Oh no, they all the, mm. uh, yeah. lot, lots of like happiness track, happiness something, happiness okay. uh, system. Yeah, yeah. To, to be honest, happiness is what all we are looking for at the end, but we never read about happiness what? to understand it, you know, like, I, I am looking for happiness actually. Uh, and people who experienced, who came across many struggles and then who reached that happiness state and they wrote some books called, as you said, happiness, something, blah, blah. Uh, I think we have to look some books regarding this happiness and try to understand. No, I just said you shouldn't. Oh. Yeah. Why, why is it so? Because it's their point of view, you mean. Huh? Why, why, why I should not? I mean, they talk about same thing. They have like same, same rules, mm -hmm. and they basically like written people that got, uh, usually that got rich because of that books, not because they are like also like the success books. Okay, mm -hmm. at it could kind of like same category. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then kind of yeah, I had like the like really good time. Then I had like really like bad times like. Yeah, I had to like health problems and my friends like moved out mm -hmm. and I just like crashed. Uh, yeah. And then I found like my favorite book ever that I absolutely recommend. 
Uh, it's called uh, the book Prometheus Rising. Sorry, repeat it. Prometheus Rising. Okay. So Prometheus, the like Greek god. Mm. How you say it? Mm. I, I, I don't know about Greek Prometheus. Gods. Yeah, Prometheus okay. Rising. <coughs> okay. Uh, and that book is like kind of parapsychology. So what he like the author like read there. Uh, that he read about like theory mm -hmm. of no like uh, how you say model like model of our like human psychology. So he claimed that we have like eight circles of consciousness. Okay. Uh, so it's similar like Freud. Uh, kind of stages of development. So first is uh, oral, so like when you grow up, when you like are born, when I skit, you just like focus on like being safe, on like getting nutrition, like this is what about like, you are like also animals. And to that like in, in that, what is in great netbook, like there's lots of uh, exercise to do, like for everything. I can borrow if you want. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so the first is like, uh, yeah, this is like like newborn baby, like mm. first stage of our human development. Uh, yeah, and just like being safe, like being clo getting close to something safe and getting away from something unsafe, and just like about suckling and like cuddling. Uh, and they're like one of example exercise was to uh, watch animal shows mm. and then like go outside and try to like look people and see like how similar are their behaviors. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And second is like territorial. Uh, so then it's like when, when the kids grow up, it's like two, three years old. So they like start to like walk and explore everything and start to like explore the like dynamic. Mm -hmm. Like who is power and who who is like under who's over and under who is like submit who's like also like in animals the same who is stronger who is weaker uh, yeah and those like exercises for example like learn learn how to like go for like combat sports like fighting sports or like meditate was to like meditate for a couple weeks and mm -hmm. then see like how how you is if if you are in the same per, with the same person that like usually make you sad it still make you sad like if there's any difference mm. and also like the second was like loss of in your body so like any like trauma you kind of feel it like your body is tense so it's like also like for every like circuit is like different uh, like yoga exercise or like meditation or like the exercise. So first, like focus on breathing. Second is like uh, like asanas. And third is the higher one, that's like human one. Like after five years, you learn how to talk, you learn how to like count, how to uh, read. So this is like the the third is like logic circuit. Uh, the third, the fourth is the social circuit, and then the five is like the higher. So like not not like every human half, like only the people like that like uh, exercise or do like yeah higher things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is also why I kind of done that exercise. Uh, because of that book, like I started to go for like Sufi meetings. You know what is Sufis? Yeah, Sufis. Yeah, the Mid Middle East thing. Uh, like the, it's like what I know, like it's the Muslim part of the, like spiritual part of Muslim. Mm, yeah. Islamic or Muslim. Yeah, Islam, Muslim, same. Yeah, of Islamic. Okay. Yeah. And I started to go there and was like just, just meditation there, like kind of talking there, like no, more like mantraing the ma mantras, mantras? Okay. of, but like the names of the gods. Okay. I really like loved it. I really mm. enjoyed it going there and okay. do it. Like the people was really nice, friendly, mm -hmm. and like they didn't talk about nothing about Islam. Just like was doing there. 
talk like over Clive and the sort of. Okay. It was in the like central library. It was yeah, really nice. Uh, but like after pandemic, like on the pandemic mm. stuff and stuff. Maybe. But that was yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And because of that book, I started to go. Yeah, to be honest, I really wanted to know more on Islamism or Sufism, especially, but I had no opportunities. Yeah. Maybe. But I tried even like on the YouTube watch more about it. There is like so little information on it. Like, uh, okay. Sweet. Hmm. Where did you go then after Sufism? Uh, I'm just like on and off, like meditate, like do that. Uh, like different rituals. Mm -hmm. I like the example of ritual that I really like the lower uh, lower pentagram ritual. So basically, the goal of it is you just like give like mental space to like even for meditation. So what you do, you imagine that you write like drawing the pentagram, mm -hmm. and you with every like. I would say, like part, you wovering one point, like A, B, mm. no, E, A, A, O, U. So you like kind of like mantra. Okay. And you like drawing the like pentagrams over you and like relax your like uh, unconscious mind mm. because it's like you kind of protect it. Okay, it's like you are imagine, ma imagining that one? I you imagine that you like drawing pentagrams okay. and you kind of see in your imagination mm -hmm. and then you like kind of see it with your like safe space and you can like your meditation will be better oh, okay. so it's like example of that and at the end of you do it to, like, to clean the space nice techniques yeah uh yeah what else i kind i try to go like a couple like one more for like meditation like uh, Buddhist mm -hmm. and yeah okay. I, I, in Buddhism I, I, I do this particular technique called Anapanasati this is the only thing that I do since long like uh, three years do you know anything about that or well what you, you, you should have done that uh, just observing the breath how it's called breath. how it's called Anapanasati. What the hell? So fancy word. <laughs> like ana means ingoing breath, apana mm. outcoming breath, sati is to be with. Yeah. Um, but you you heard of vipassana? Like the name, same but it's not. Yeah, no, no, so. it's yeah, it's normal. But yeah, in vipassana it's same. They do anapanasati first, and then they go with observing all the parts of the body. That is. In Anapanasati, observing only the breath. Yeah. I mean, yeah, understand. But yeah. like with the Buddhist, now I reminded myself, kind of, I really got, got like, off it. Like, one my friend, uh, like, close friend, have, mm -hmm. like, really bad experience with the Buddhist. Yeah. Like, so in the Poland, it's mostly the crystal way mm. or di diamond way. And she, she had, like, both, like, experience like there was like really really anti-muslims like extremely like ah. like we love every human but like muslims should be dead like, and like really extreme okay then there is no spirituality then <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay yeah but like like the ways they do like uh Pokwon, how you say it uh, how you say that ah have a name in English, this action. Bowing? Bowing. Mm. So there are like kind of bows that you go down, like slide, okay. kind of push up and you stand up and you need to do like thousands of it. Is and it? like after like 100,000, you kind of go progress on another level. <laughs> and you need to do like... It's kind of guru sort of thing. Yeah, there is like one, mm. one guy is like mm -hmm. most important. And of course there is like one guru, but there's like other guru too, and they like okay. fight each other, you know. <laughs> the Crazy. Ten branches. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and where, where, where are you now? And 
भी हो एक प्रयास क्यों कंक्रीटली ना हो वेल यू सेड लाइक यू डू ऑन एंड ऑफ मेडिटेशन यू आर नॉट डूइंग दैट रेगुलरली बिकॉज यू डोंट सी लाइक और लाइक इट बिकॉज वी डू मेडिटेशन टू फाइंड हैप्पीनेस और वॉट इज द मोटिवेशन दैट यू डू दिस like with the chaos magic the meditation is like necessary to do like rituals so mm-hmm. it's like progression even with the meditation so from one book uh, psychonaut manual uh, there is like you first focus just just focus to like not move that's mm-hmm. it okay. and you go from 5 to like half hour mm-hmm. and then you go level 2 it's focus on breathing oh, okay. level 3 is like imagine like there is shape so first is triangle then uh, like square in uh, tri- square in triangle and then like circle square triangle and you to like try manage to like always have in your mind mm-hmm. and it's like mantras and if you manage to do like half hour mm-hmm. then you can like progress to like or it was uh that that was like more lots of them to like improve yourself better uh-huh. but like last face i have it was like here year ago like in the summer too and why i meditate like it calmed me down and i learned that i can like kind of figure it out my stuff like i uh, know i would say like deal with my emotions so mm-hmm. i like i first like like learn how to like just focus like on nothing and then i could like kind of have a think about like what troubles me how to fix it and just like mm. one thing just like you can just focus better about solving okay. problems and like like even understand your emotional why I feel like that mm. and it- why i stopped it mm. just yeah usually when like my routine is broken so i walk always before before work and i don't it then mm. i move then i like didn't have it's lots of what i found in meditation you need to have quiet space this is like without quiet space you cannot meditate like yeah that could be like distractions and yeah this is problem yeah. and mm. yeah like the yeah usually it's like just breaking off my routine like now i like waking up at 6 and just mm. don't motivate to like walk up at 5 and go sleep at 8 yeah and yeah i don't do it but yeah basically you understood that meditation really helps you to get a clarity in your life and uh, i mean for sure like i do it over yeah. like 8 years now like yeah. on and off of course and i think i'm a, yeah calmer and like yeah. mm. but the worst is think like if i don't do it yeah i go from start point from starting point so if i start of 5 minutes and i manage to do like after more for two months like half hour for two minutes mm. if i do break i need to go from start and this is like really demotivating Got it. Uh, i don't know how was your experience well to be honest same for me as well like i recently came across something called uh yoga sutras of patanjali patanjali is a guy who gave this sutras sutras means techniques in yoga means meditation or whatever that he says like eight principles yama niyama asana pranayama pratyagara charana dhyana samadhi so samadhi means to be with yourself that's the, the you know that's the final one and in yama niyama in first it's like five five set of principles that he says you do you have to be a uh, non violent being it means no himself pilot is a mess in violence we need violence we are like <laughs> we are our species is just like survive on violence we need violence yeah but you know you, know you don't I... like you know have it like this necessity or you just you never have it or maybe you kind of just it's half it, inside you yeah it is there always the animal instinct yeah um but in order to overcome that Um, my my view is like I'm very sick and we over commit is bad. Yeah, you can like it if you are happy with that. Um but if you want to move from one level to another level to find more okay, I'm 
finish so with the... we can like put what to say it. so the violence would be like the second circuit like the territorial Vi violence because violence. it is like like just domination yeah what he said so it's so let's go from like every point mm. so what was the first of the nine principles yama in yama first principle in yama you got five things in it which he say insist about no um violence which means yeah. if you give uh, suffering to another creature you are going to get back to yourself so but how you can not giving that to other being is to understand that the other being is also you only then you can get rid of that you know the idea of mm. even so explain it how how all this thing fits you because everything is connected without the sun i can't live without this tree i can't breathe i but it can live without you it can but maybe it can't we even we also need it for that to exist we are not sure of anything yeah we could be like this brain in the vats mm -hmm. and just like everything's our own brain like every experience is like yeah. how like our brain understand the like connection mm -hmm. so we could be just like brain in the vats exactly <laughs> yeah we are sure i am sure of nothing but to be honest um when i had this meditation experience uh first thing which i left was eating animals which means the craving to eat that it disappeared um what again the craving to eat what, animals how i uh, don't know i just practiced the meditation just simply observed the breathing technique natural breathing for 40 days regularly 40 minutes in the morning 40 minutes in the evening 40 for so long yeah, but it, they say like according to your age so if you are 30 years old 30 minutes is enough for a day uh, oh so the older you are you are yeah. spend more time in the meditation yeah. but you you don't need to so much sleep then it's like a query yeah exactly <laughs> because in meditation to be honest you absorb more energy than what you will absorb during the sleeping time no <laughs> that's what that's what in my experience that you know that i have um yeah so well this ahimsa in this eight principles uh, the first one will happen automatically once we understand the concept or once we experience this oneness with everyone and then the non violent violent to non violent will happen naturally but they put that as a first asking people to first you become non violent and then you can meditate to go better but no it can't work like that i can't go non violent just like that that's why if you come from reverse to top it really works you just do meditation you don't have to have to become non violent or not uh, just meditate regularly for four days you understand that you are everything and, and meditate you mean just like try to don't think okay. yeah meditating you can't meditate to be honest meditating will have to happen which means we just prepare a ground by taking removing all which you are not so when you ask your mind to simply observe the breath what the mind does is instead of giving us plenty of thoughts it comes to a point after doing this practice for regularly for 40 days it comes to a point where it focuses only the breath yeah and from that point to go to no thought state will not take much time and that is where the soul is going to get bigger and bigger and it comes into your experience okay and the soul is everywhere Mm, yeah so yeah so according to my experience but yeah it was really nice to see you did you heard about dark night of soul which one so dark night of soul no no so there is like i heard it like in one meditation book mm -hmm. i think like one of the most known maybe it was yeah 
I won't remind him. Um, so, according to the book, like after long years of meditation, you kind of got like extremely depressed. Mm -hmm. Like you just have like proper depression. Okay. Yeah, I heard about even one of the person who I interviewed very first time, Craig. Mm. He had this. He was a nice meditator for a long time. He had plenty of experiences. He went vegan and one point what happened was everything collapsed. Yeah. He he didn't know what happened and but now he's coming back to normal by again coming into practice of meditation. That's what he said. How do you find that? Are you not afraid of it? No, like I I believe, I trust in this creation, to be honest. Even if for if you would do it, like keep meditating, for sure you will get depressed. Would mm. you still do it? Um, or you just like destroyed your whole kind of. You mean these days? Do am I getting depression? No, no. I'm asking you if. Mm. What if? What if you're like? Okay. If you would still meditate, if you will know that would happen. Hmm. <laughs> I meditate only to get nice experience. But no, what, what <laughs> if you would know that we get? Oh, if I know, uh, maybe I will not do meditation. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I, I need happiness in life. That's it. <laughs> About that, a good question, the other. Did you get depressed? Hmm. Do you? No, no. Uh, you are for the never moment. depressed. You are super happy and positive. Well, when I get depression, I go into meditation and then it's like when I sleep and then I feel relaxed, better, something like that. Yeah, like usually this is the like reason that I am stopping meditation. So I have like, I think I, I have like seasonal depression mm. and like I, when I have like on the row like really good motivation, I just like get depressed and stop meditation. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's why I made quote that point. So, according to that yoga technique, if you underst if we understand that um, the spirituality is ultimate, which means the knowing the self to understand we are eternal, things like that, we often we get the depression because of the failure in material life or physical life, and if our priority changes, if our priority becomes uh, spirituality as first, because we are instead of looking to going behind temporary things, if we go behind permanent things, um, even though if we fail in not getting the temporary happiness, we won't get that much depressed. So that's why I quoted that eight principles um, in that he mentions like even in the first principle in Yama you have to be happy uh, but yeah it's still hard to be honest <laughs> that is my experience yeah. I, I had like lots of kind of things but mm -hmm. like most it's like you just after years of meditation you mm -hmm. you are on that point that you you kind of understand point of life and that's just everyone will die and it's like it may, if that make you depressed they just understand like yeah everything is one and just like you are alone mm. and just yeah you are like god and you are like just alone that's why they're like, like universe well, because you got as a just one being alone and just want to mm. yeah. yeah now maybe i will talk to you like what what's my idea of like god definitely uh, so I yeah, read, 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 think about lots of that. Lo lots of like my kind of now mm -hmm. is from one YouTube channel called Mork. Mm -hmm. uh, he called himself like Hyperianist. Uh, and what kind of he claimed that, yeah, we are like one, like our reality is mine. Mm. That kind of goes to the uh, matter. And he gets like lots of good reasons why, like for example, like the even psych physical, like what that that why like this 
nothing is quicker than like speed of light or like the event horizon and things like that. It's like I recommend that channel. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, and yeah, so basically you are like universe that experience itself through your, yourself. Mm. So without like consciousness, mm. like wouldn't there won't be like universe because there is nothing to experience it. But in other hand, like if there is no one in the forest, like the forest is still there. Mm. Yeah. yeah, some things are hard to understand. Yeah, but the forest is there, but, but the universe can't experience that forest without. But the universe is that forest. Yeah. yeah, without nothing, the consciousness is simply there. But yeah. only through physical medium, the consciousness is yeah. experiencing it. I kind of yeah understand like the universe has like mm. kind of living organism, living system, mm. like everything is connected as you said, mm. like yeah, everything is one, one is everything. Cool. And yeah, that we are like our consciousness is like exactly. this one, mm. but like through different body, but still is one. Mm. And it's like there is just that moment that we are here. It's nothing else. Everything, as you say, our brain, like our past. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. Okay. And yeah, I kind of believe in in. Uh, oh my God! I left the world. Uh, in reincarnation. Yeah. You believe in that? Yeah. Yeah. Which means, so now universe is experiencing some experiences through Miho, and if next in next life Miho wants to uh, experience something different, he will go to some other planet. And so what what I like to think about it. So it's like game. Mm. So you as a Kinda, you are a character, mm. and through your experiences, you get like experiences points. Mm. So the more experiences you get, you more points. And when you die, you can like spend points on like okay. different character. So you can put like whatever like wow. <laughs> you want. That, that, that so thing, <laughs> that, that's the whole point actually in this universe. It's, in India, they say it's Leela. Do you believe in like kind of yeah. gathering experiences? Like, what do you think was the point of li life? There is, there is <laughs> nothing. It's like watching a movie. It's what? like watching a movie. So imagine, like, okay, I was born, and then I had you a... Was, what? I was born. Ah, yeah. And uh, uh, imagine, like, i grown up, uh, always good. I had nice uh, house, nice uh, um, car, family. Uh, kids, and one day I, 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 I did. Um, is there anything interesting in it? That is, it's not that much. For you, it is like hmm? for you, it is for for you like a for, person for, yeah, to, for me. who had uh, even, like that family who had that. Yeah, things. maybe you kinda got really into it like this. Yeah, it it is how to say you imagine like instead of having a standard life like this, you uh, experience some sadness in your life, then how you overcame that, uh, many challenges you faced, how you overcome that. Um, you know, you went into a tough situation and now so this is what all about, I think, to just to have some thrilling, so, thrilling in the so life. So if you would have like perfect life, mm. Would you destroy it then to have more experiences or would you just like live in the perfect life? Well, I think the soul, the craving of the soul... Because you want, like every human want to be happy. Yeah. That's but like without happy, like yeah. apart happiness, mm. there is suffering, but nobody wants to suffer. But mm. this is the only like experiences. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. We have to understand that. But honest. like as a Buddhist said, like, mm. uh, oh my God. What the position? Uh, like craving? No. Mm -hmm. 
want something. It's like when you achieve it, you you won't be happy. Like this is not the ah oh, that is how you say it. Um, middle middle path, something like that. Like you would have no um. Cut your feelings. Yeah, if but like ha- nothing will won't make you like mm. getting something won't make you happy. Like getting like if. your car won't won't make you life. Mm. You so will, you if, will want more. Mm. Which means if you have happy situation, even then you'll be normal. Mm. If you have sad situation, even then you're normal. Which means you are just there, witnessing. Yeah. Mm. Cool, Meho. Had a nice talk with you. Yeah. We'll continue and have many things to learn from you, and have vast experience and many techniques. And would be uh, glad to, you know, yeah. have meetings with you regularly. But yeah, like the and also like I don't lots of pranayama. Hmm. And pranayama. We need to do together. Yeah. Very much interested. Thanks guys for watching us. Hope it must have helped you to understand or to have an idea in spirituality. Thank you. Bye.